Okay guys, back in the garage. Welcome to the channel if you're new. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. So today we're gonna to be taking off the differential and the six speed O2M transmission. And then I'm gonna be cleaning it up and then uh, putting it up on the bench. And then we'll uh, open it up and hopefully we'll just be changing the first and second shift fork depending on what we find in there. Uh, but if you still have it in the car, I'm gonna show you a couple of things that will help you out with that. So here we go. Okay, so if your engine and transmission is still in the car, one of the things you have to do is there's a six mil Allen way in there and about I think it's about seven inches. So you're going to have to try to get seven mil Allen with ex some extensions, you know, all the way in there, which is uh, you can't you can't buy something that uh, you know fits way down in there. So what I did, uh, this Allen key was in there, but this was too wide. It was hitting the cup. So what I did. I pounded this out with my punch, put it in, let's focus this socket, put some Gorilla Tape on there, extension, and now this, it still almost doesn't go in, but right there we have it. So. put this punch in the cup so hopefully it won't rotate. Oh, that was easy. Oh wow, I hope that was that easy. <laughs> All right, so I think my extension worked here. Awesome, and there is our Allen bolt that we had to get out. And now I'll just uh, take out all these other bolts and then we'll get to the transmission. Okay, got the transmission off. Uh, one of the things I was really looking forward to was seeing if somebody switched out the dual mass flywheel for a single and they have, this is a aftermarket single mass flywheel and clutch, so that saves me a ton of money, so I don't have to do that, but yeah. So now I'm going to take off uh, the transmission mount, I'm gonna take off the top of the tower here and then plug up where the cups went and then I'm gonna pressure wash this, get it all nice and clean so we can put it up on the bench and uh, open it up. That's good enough for me. I might do a little bit more like wire brushing on it. The spots are kind of still black, but I mean, that's way better than what it was. It'll be nice to work on. All right, so we got the transmission all pressure washed off and cleaned up as much as I could. And now the first thing we're gonna do is take out these bolts around the throw bearing, and then we'll do uh, these bolts on the outside right here. Okay, so now that we got those on, we'll take the uh, shift tower out. So we gotta do um, the inside, unscrew that one, and then we'll do the outside bolts, and then we'll pry this uh, off. Then two bolts up here, and then the shift tower will uh, slowly pry it up and all. So this is the, probably the scariest thing I have ever done, it feels like. So this, come on focus. So this is so hard to get off. I'm prying it, you know, trying to do every edge. I don't want to break anything, but you have to get this out to get the shift tower out, I believe. And dude, this thing is so sketchy. I already had a little bit of the case break off right here, but you know, I'm prying gently around it, but dude, this thing is not, moving. So I have this piece out, um, you know, 
pretty much as far as it, it, as it will go right now. I pull and it just kind of goes back in. So we're gonna take the shift tower to see if we can uh, get that out and maybe this will slide out afterwards. Because all we're doing is we're removing this or getting it out as far as possible to get the shift tower out. So let's just try to get the shift tower out now because that is stressful and I don't like pulling on that thing. <laughs> Okay, I had to take a little break because that was very stressful. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys, pretend like this is all the way in and this is in, <clears throat> and this part, is, the shift tower's in, but like I Googled everything and I switched my wording around and I couldn't find anything showing how to do, th how to do the shift tower on this O2M, tr O2M transmission. It's the older one and it doesn't have the cup that you have to take off and the shift tower is not just in with this there's a piece down here and then i pried it out but don't go too far pry it maybe a little bit and then take your shift bolts out up here and this guy and this sensor over here so then when you're uh, doing this jiggle or move this back and forth and then you can feel it down here and finally um, you know, I'm talking to a friend about this that has one of these transmissions. You know, I finally undid the bolts up here, wiggling this around. I could feel it down here, and finally, I, you know, I got this part off. I haven't even, let's look inside, see if I can get some light in there so we can see. So yeah, I mean, it's it's already moved, so you can't really tell where it was, but... Oh man, that was so stressful. I mean, this is just... You know, aluminum, very easy to break. You can see right here, uh, there is some that came off and everything. So I'm so happy to have this out. I'm gonna set you guys back up over here so we can uh, get that out. Let's see if we can take this out. Hey man, what, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Don't get all. Don't, you're gonna get all greasy. Okay, so this is at the bottom. This is on the shift tower. This is into here. So that's what you guys are working with. I wish someone else, I mean, I, I put in so many different searches, I could not find anything like this on this transmission. So this is a O2 Audi TT, O2M six speed quattro transmission. And this, you have to take this out to be able to get the um, shift tower out. And I guess this is supposed to be like a stronger transmission than the newer ones with when it, the ones that have this like plate that you have to take here. There's So I hope this helps someone out there, what you're working with. If you have this, you know, maybe put this out a little way and then do the tower, maybe, you know, jiggling the tower around and so you can get all this out without having a heart attack like I almost did. So now that we have the shift tower out finally. So I flipped it over and now this is the position where we can lift off the case. So now we just have to get um, all these bolts around here and then a couple over here and then we can lift the case off and I'm uh, super excited. I'm really hoping it's just a shift fork and there's no metal everywhere. <laughs> scary <laughs> so yeah uh, right under right by the shift tower there's a good spot to uh, pry on so I think this side uh, I think we got the seal all the way broke now I'm hoping it lifts right off Ooh. little dirty and grimy it is in there so this is I think first and second, third and fourth over here. And then you have the rev uh, fifth, 
six in reverse over here. So we got it open and already I'm super excited because I see the problem. So if you guys can imagine that this would be the shift tower uh, sitting right in this location and then the shift forks uh, are right here and right here. As you can tell, there's one missing from right here. And this is usually uh, usually straight up and down. Uh, so, you know, when the shift fork breaks, it just usually goes straight down and it sits at the bottom of the case, which in my case, I'm happy, very happy to see is exactly the case. And this is uh, uh the huge i mean it's a huge problem I, I never knew this until i you know got this audi tt that this is a huge issue with these quattro the o2m uh six speed transmissions like this happens uh, like so much it should have been recalled and they never did like i've read so many forums so many posts and everything you know so this is supposed to be and the other thing you know that i wanted to look at when you get the case open, there's a magnet. You know, this is the bottom of the case usually. And there's a magnet so you can check out to see if there's any metal, like, you know, metal chunks or whatnot. You know, I don't see, you know, any huge chunks or anything that just likes, looks like, like kind of, I feel like normal wear. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I'm super excited finally to have that transmission open and finally get to know it was the shift work that, you know, was broke. So. Um, in the next coming days, I'm going to be figuring out if I'm going to be fixing that or trying to buy new ones. But uh, if you guys want to buy a t-shirt, I'll have a link below. But that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.